Hi hey guys, it's me again. I'm doing another promo. Oh, sorry about this light. I actually like that better. I know it's a little too dimmed, but... And sorry about my mess. Obviously, I haven't crafted, which means I have not been in the mood to clean up because I usually pick up... Sorry, I pick up my mess when I'm ready to continue crafting after I made my mess from my previous crafting session so since i haven't crafted i have not felt the need to pick up but i have been working on something um this is kind of a promo for my good friend rosemary bustillos she's having a super sweet giveaway it's uh i'm gonna actually do an official video response showing you some of the projects that i'm doing with all the details and information but I just wanted to make this video to put the link and get the word out because I think it's just such an amazing cause. It makes me feel bad about my giveaway because what I wanted was a lace book for me and just for me. And she's having a giveaway where she's asking us to make cards for um, hospice and for the armed forces. I think it's one there's... Um, something that's called Operation... Oh, man, I'm so bad at this. I thought that I could just remember everything, but my friend is so organized and so... Like, she planned everything to the T that I wouldn't even do her any justice by trying to explain what it is because I am going to link below um, her video. I just really want you guys to understand what the video is about to get you excited about it because I'm really excited about it. I'm not even going to tell you how many cards I'm attempting to make because I'm not a card maker. So this is definitely a challenge, but for such a good cause, I'm going to try my very best. I don't want to send crappy cards. So I'm going to try my very best to try to make something worthy of um, people um, to send to their families. So, of course, you guys know, um, you know, hospice, I think what they do is they send, uh, like, follow-up cards for people that have lost loved ones, um, you know, just to remind them that somebody uh, understands their pain and they're, they're thinking of them, I, I believe, for what I understood. And then the second, uh, the second cause is for the armed forces, people that are deployed, that are in Afghanistan, that are in other states that send cards to their loved ones they're going to be sending them our cards so if there's a dad that's in afghanistan and it's their son's birthday he's going to use one of our cards to send his little boy a happy birthday card which to me i just thought it was just the sweetest thing there is a few rules because on um the 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 the, the fact that they're going to be shipping them um, there, there's not going to be any like 3D cards or anything too fancy, but I think anything that you put your heart and soul into um, to help them, as long as we follow guidelines, because there are some guidelines and they're not guidelines that Rosemary put on, they're guidelines that are put on by um, the lady that organizes this because she wants to make sure that um, it's easier for the people that we're sending them to. So she, Rosemary explains it. She breaks it down perfect on which one. You can choose to do both causes if there's one that you think would be easier for you. So for example, and she she shows the cards that, that would be a good example. This card I'm so proud of because I don't do cards. And to me, this just looks awesome. This would be an epic fail on her giveaway just because, and you'll, you'll see, it's, it's too three-dimensional and there's glitter on it. And um, she explains the, the glitter, at least for the armed forces. I believe it's not safe for them to be um, handling a card that has glitter because the night vision picks it up. So if they're in the middle of, you know, a war zone and they have a card that has glitter, it can, it, it can really get them in trouble. So anybody, any of you professional card makers that use all of this stuff for your cards, it might also be a challenge for you, but I think for such a sweet cost, it's just worth trying. And, you know, Rosemary is not really asking for anything for herself. She just really wants to um, support that cost and she wants us to help her 
with it and she's going to be giving away some prizes for you guys' generosity so go ahead check it out i'm going to go ahead and link her video um i also wanted to do this card share since i won't be able to use this for rosemary i just i love my tiddly inks and these are alcohol inks that um alcohol inks alcohol markers um that i've been I've been practicing. I'm not the best, but I don't think it looks sloppy. I think it looks, I think it looks cute. I just love it. I'm very proud of myself because it's not something that I usually make. And then this one, I just thought it was super adorable. I know the glare is really annoying. But, I mean, look at how awesome she is. And I just found out that um, there's new Tiddly Ink stamps on their website. So, of course, I have to get them. They have a, a, a lot of new boy stamps, which to me it's awesome because I have a boy. I can't make them little glittery flower girls, pink cards, or anything for his birthday or for special occasions. So, I struggle with tiddly inks they have very few boys but now they're, they're came, they came up with some stamps so i'm super excited as soon as i get them i will haul them to you guys i don't see a lot of tiddly ink fans out there but i am a tiddly inks and gorgeous girls only um card maker i love any other images and digis and stamps but i 